Hey everyone. Uh, got here a little Sabra Javicaba that I grew from seed. Uh, probably like two years old. Um, I was trimming the red hybrid that had a bunch of fruit on it. And this branch right here was like completely crossed over inside the tree and it was like smashed up against uh, another limb. So it had to come out of there. So it's a good size uh, piece of material. It's like thick as a pencil. So I actually took a bunch off, but this was the biggest one. And I, I justified in my own head. I'm like, you know what? I have a million of these things. I don't have to do every one of them. Um, so what I will do first is I'm going to look at the thickness of this. <clears throat> try and match it up the thickness. This guy. This is a Sabra variety, so I think I'm going to leave some of it on here, actually, so we have a, a cocktail tree. I'll, uh, <coughs> let's see where we cut. Where can we get this sugar in? She sure looks like she matches up pretty well right in that range, so. Here's the part that freaks everyone out. It's like, bonk, you knock the head off the tree. And that's just useless. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull this little one out, too. I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna take. They're so fun to grow these old jabos because they're like little bonsai trees. I think uh, Mr. Miyagi's little bonsai trees. This is them, and they fruit. So super neat. So you can grow them kind of any way you want. So that's what that guy looks like now. Just one branch. But I'm gonna stick this piece of red on here, and hopefully she works. So there's a couple steps. <clears throat> I am by no means El Experto. That would be Adam at Flying Fox. I uh, watched a lot of his videos to learn how to do this. Um, I've been pretty successful lately, so I feel pretty good about doing some videos myself. Um, I'm just wrapping with buddy tape. This is uh, some grafting tape that comes from Japan. We order it directly. It really is the premium product. Uh, I haven't used any other tapes that were better. This stuff, it just stretches so nice. It really grabs nice. It has good strength. It's just awesome stuff. So we are wrapping to seal this thing up so no moisture can get out because now it doesn't have roots anymore. So if it dries out, it dies. So I'm gonna keep going. The more material I have here, uh, the better chance of this thing taking, it seems. Um, just takes a little longer to die, which gives it a little longer to heal onto the rootstock. And this is a nice, pretty little tree. Nice, strong. The Sabra, as I remember one of Adam's videos where he was saying that the Sabra is the filter. He's like, it's just the toughest variety, and you can do anything with it. Uh, graft all kinds of things to it. So I grew out a bunch. So that's nice and wrapped all the way to the tip. Nothing exposed. So now I just take a little knife here. Now I know everyone says, spray it with alcohol. Keep it super clean. This is my pocket knife. Just so you know. I do it all the time. Um... I watched one method that I've seen that I've liked a little better. I've seen a lot of very short cleft grafts. That's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do a cleft graft where I split this trunk and then whittle this down to a nice little point and slide it right in there. Um, but I've seen some that are very short, maybe only like a half inch long. I have not had success with those. Um, I have done much better with a longer graft, a longer scion cut. You know, my cleft cut. Uh, so I'm just shaving. I'm going to shave her down to a nice flat point. Um, try and go as straight and even as possible. Try and, trying to work the camera here. I've been trying to keep good content coming up and uh, had to cut a nice piece of tree off of one, so I thought, hey. I don't think I've done this video yet. Um, Jabba de Cabas, I've actually had a lot of luck grafting. Um, my first, the first thing I ever got to take uh, was a red 
Java to Kaba on a Sabra that my buddy brought over me a brought me a piece off of his tree. A little tiny piece, only about eighth of an inch thick. And I grafted it and that is on my back patio right now. So I'm pretty happy with that actually that's pretty ugly. Now I'm looking at the other side. Check the other side out. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to work on that side in just a moment. I didn't realize that was as ugly as it was. Um, just to give you an idea of like what I'm looking for, I want it smooth so it can so it can connect really nicely. We want these cambiums to connect. So that's a little little bit. It's a little ugly, but you know what? It's gonna take. It's gonna work. These things are actively growing right now. They're all flushing right now. So so I have to go about nah, just over an inch is about how deep I have to go. So I'm gonna take my knife and pick the direction I want it to go. And I just split this stem. And just very slowly and very carefully just wobble the knife through. Now this isn't a grafting knife. It's not the ideal knife for it. But I've done it and it works. So, you see I've got the knife in there. I need to go just a little bit bigger than the width of my knife. And that's that. Take the scion. I'm going to angle it away from this side. We slide her into place. And the idea is get it as even as possible so it's connecting on both sides with as you know having those surfaces as even as you possibly can um, but you look at them and if you can get it pulled nice and tight they're they're generally going to take i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that in here so you can see so when i wrap it i'm gonna squeeze it even tighter um, i have even put zip ties around them and that sucks it down really tight if I don't feel like I got it tight enough I might pop a zip tie around it um, and then just cut it off after they push and after it holds sometimes they push and it doesn't take so here's the part that matters the most it's how you wrap this seems to make it or break it so that cut is pretty tight, so it's holding that sign in there pretty good. So now it's just a matter of keeping this sealed completely. It's airtight, watertight. We don't want anything getting in there. Water will rot it. We don't need none of that. So now that I've made it up and over, I've completely sealed it. Come back down. And now I'm going to do this other type of wrap. What's cool about this tape is if you twist it as you're wrapping it, it becomes more like stretchy rope. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like that. You just twist and pull and it becomes string. Super nice trick for wrapping it tight, for finishing it up. So I would expect to see this push quickly, actually. They're uh, really active right now. All the Jabos are taking off. They're all flowering and fruiting, so. That is pretty solid. I might give it one more wrap, um, or I might not. That's, that's really about all it needs. Um, but that's it. That's grafting a piece of red hybrid Jabba de Kaba onto Sabra rootstock. Yeah, I'm going to go one more time over top of it all. Just because why not? Why not? Tore the tape. So you tear the tape, you just keep wrapping. It stretches so nicely and then just sucks back down beautifully. Keep that union nice and tight and then it's going to work. Yeah, I feel real good about that. That's going to grow. All right, so there you go, grafting at the reed farm. See you later.